it's really rewarding tying your own mackerel feathers. Uh, we use this mylar tube. It comes in various different colours. You've got basically sand eel imitations. And I suggest you cut off about three inches, or cut off three or three inch lengths. Uh, it comes with sort of string that holds it all together. So you just pull that off. So we take some nail varnish. You can use red or orange, anything that you think the fish will find attractive. Just had some orange stuff. Um, my wife's stuff I've stolen, found that lying around. Um, she doesn't know yet, so hopefully she won't see the video. You don't need more than four hooks for a mackerel rig. It takes about 10 minutes for that to dry. Now I'm using two O hooks. They need a reasonably big eye because you've got to put 30 pound line through that twice. And in my right hand there, I've got the now dried nail varnish on the end. You can cut it so it's nice and square, makes it a little bit easier to thread along the hook. Scissors are probably better than these nail clippers. And then what you want to do is push it through the gape of the hook till it's level with the point on the other side and then just pierce through it. I made a bit of a mess of that one but basically that will thread along and then the red end there, the bit with the nail varnish is sort of level with the eye of the hook. That's pretty much it. You don't need to fan out that tail at all. And what I'm going to do is come down with a 30 pound line. I'm using black line here and just so you can see it against the white background. So you need to pull quite a bit through and then back up through the eye of the hook. And then you're going to form a loop. So you've got a loop there. It's the first of two loops that you're going to tie. And that first loop can be reasonably small as long as you've got about 10 inches of the running end and that's the running end there I'm forming this second loop with it's got a very good memory this black <laughs> black line which is why I'm struggling a bit but and then you want to form a second loop and take the running end through the first loop to give you two loops. Okay. Now the line between my thumb and finger there is the one that's going to the spool. You can cut it off or keep it on the spool at this point and you're just going to bite down on the other bit of line at the bottom there. It's a good point here you could uh, moisten the line and then make sure that loop and everything is really tight and then you're going to do 13 turns traditionally 13 turns so you've got one two three you get the idea so you really just got to make those loops push up against each other to make a very neat knot I'm squeezing down on the loop that I've just formed as well there okay so You've then got the line that you've worked along the hook with and that line can actually be cut find it easier to repeat this so thread the tubing round and then that fits along the shank quite nicely and then the tail sits off like that I'm going to take the line this would be normal normally be clear line I've got the details in the in the notes but I'm using black so you can see that against the background you're going to go back up the same way you've come out with that loop and there's just about enough room with those eyes. You need to make sure you've got hooks with larger eyes, really. And then when you've done that, you're going to form that loop. So it's down through and back out again. I 
And what I'm doing there is I'm making sure to the left here, my left hand, that I'm pinching that through. There's enough line because that's the line that's going to be tied onto the rig. Form another loop and that runs along the shank of the hook and you want to keep that really tight with your finger and thumb and then with my right hand there that's in the foreground that's basically going to take the running end of the line through the loop that I've just made and pull it through okay and then with that other bit of line you're clamping it in it helps to moisten the line and it helps if you haven't got the high memory black line that I'm using here and then that loop there I actually try and pinch so it's quite tight make sure everything's neat with your left hand thumb and finger and then it's your time to wrap round when you've done 13 turns round that's the loop dig the line through the loop poke it through the hole pull on that end and use the pliers here that tucks the knot underneath those loops that you've just turned all you have to do really here is just snip that end bit off done now you can varnish over the top with the paint varnish so you've got a nice red or orange I um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Uh, there are different ways of doing these mackerel rigs. Uh, we'll have a look at some more. And in the next video, I'll show you how to put them onto the trace.